This is Prep Zone Wrap Up presented by Bevel State Community College. James Phillips joined by Brett Elmore as always now. Uh, Brett, we had some blowouts this week. Yeah, it was uh, a tough week for the uh, Walwyn area teams. Only two with a, a victory this week. I've been Doran Meek, but uh, a lot of teams struggling in region play. Yep, a lot of teams struggling in region play. Let's start. I'm at dmeprepzone.com. Uh, remember, every Friday night, go there for live scoring updates. That's what the radio station uses for their uh, score yep. updates throughout the night. Yep. First game, Lamar County beats Winston County 34 to nothing. Winston County really seems to be struggling here to start the year off. Another team that's trying to find their identity, and they better find it quick. Uh, Riker Morgan, 14 carries, 49 yards, 5 of 14 passing, 45 yards. But I don't know. Uh, it's one of those question marks, uh, Winston County. Doesn't get any easier as they go to Addison this week. Um, uh, big big rivalry game, and and Addison's going to have a mat on too. They definitely are after their game, and so. we can go ahead and talk about that game too. Addison and Midfield. Midfield pulls out a thirty to twenty eight upset win, but I hear that Addison's quarterback uh, Christian Roberts was injured in that game, and that may have played a role uh, definitely in that loss. Yeah, he, he was injured, I think it was 22-6 to six at the time of the injury, and then they had a freshman quarterback come in and actually lead them back and almost won the ball game. Going to have to call them the comeback kids. They've been coming from behind to win, but just came up just a bit short. But still, uh, Addison, with their first uh, loss of the season, Jed Wilkins, nine carries, 101 yards for them. All right, let's talk about Oakman and Winfield. Another blowout. Winfield wins 54-14 to in a game that we really thought would be close. Thought it would be close. Um, Oakland has the athletes. I don't know what happened. Uh, I haven't talked to, with Coach about the game yet, but um, I thought it would be a very close ball game. Could go either way. But Oakland just uh, did not show up, apparently. Bubba Odom, 18-29 of 29 passing. 212 yards. Caden Marchbanks, six catches, 91 yards, one rushing touchdown, and a 98-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Oakman has the athletes. They have the horses. And your game of the week this week is going to be Oakman and J.B. Pennington. It doesn't it, get any easier. No, this loss really puts them behind the eight ball now because Pennington coming to town, another top team in that region. They're undefeated on the season. They could, uh, you know, this could be for a home playoff spot right here. So, Oakman's backs to the wall. We'll see how they respond at home. Yeah, and let's hope they do because uh, we thought going into that Winfield game, they really had a chance to be region champion. Yeah. And, and now that's a step back. Only had one offensive touchdown in the game. It really surprises me. I don't know what happened uh, at Oakman, but maybe they can get things together for Pennington. They're going to have to uh, for this region race. Hey, let's talk about a win. Meek. There you go. 32, South Lamar 26. What about the Meek Tigers? They have improved. They're only a play away from being undefeated. Yeah, yeah. They could be easily be undefeated right now. Matthew Clark, 17 carries, 163 yards, two scores. Uh, the Frith kid had a couple of interceptions. Uh, talked to Coach Powell after the game on our school board show on Oldies 101.5, and they were on the bus coming back, and and uh, he had the kids react uh, on the radio. Man, they were just jubilant. Oh, I'm sure, and, yeah, yeah. It, it was it was great. And I, I felt great for um, their team and and coach. Uh, mixed one of the one of the class of of our area. They are right now, yep. and let's hope they keep it rolling. Yep. Um, a team that hasn't won one, but it was really close this time. Brilliant beats Lynn, 28-27. to Lynn is just, they seem like they've been a, the bad luck bears so far. <laughs> yeah, that's right, the bad luck bears. I think they missed a point after to said That was an overtime game. Right. Uh, I think they missed a point after to sit it to double overtime. I thought Coach uh, Hastings' Bears would get the victory here, uh, but they came up a little bit short, but hey. Um, you know, this week, I who, do, who have they got this week? They've got uh, Pickens County, undefeated Pickens <laughs> right. County coming yeah. to town. It's not going to be easy this week. No, not going to be easy this week. I, I hope they could have got that, wish they could have got that win uh, Friday night, but no, just a bit short. Right. All right, Battle of the Bulldogs. Dora beats Hansville 28 to nothing. This is about what we expected. Not even close. And uh, I watched a little bit of the film of the game, and – uh, Dora, man, they have some athletes. First time for me to really see them on the field. They've got some athletes, and Coach Williams, since that first loss to Cordova, kind of got them turned around, and um, 
they look good, uh, and I, I really like what they're doing in East Walker County. Right, and I think uh, they picked up a couple twins this week that had not been able to play uh, due to some eligibility issues that, grad that, um, that transferred over from Gardendale, um, yeah. and that's a big pickup. Their dad was a former running back at, at Dora who was an outstanding running back uh, named Keith Pryor. Uh, that's a big get. Uh, Garrett Hoagland, uh, our player of the week at the radio station, 12 of 15 passing, 312 yards, three touchdowns. Jamarcus Goodman, 13 carries, 125 yards, one rushing touchdown, a catch for 70 yards, and 195 multi-purpose yards. That's big night for the Dallas. It is a big night. All right. Curry, still struggling. They lose to Fayette County 48-0. to zero. This was 40-0 to zero at halftime. Curry has not won a ball game in three years. Um, it's um, coming up on the anniversary of their last win, October 19th of 2018. Um, Fayette County, on the other hand, uh, you know, they, they were winless coming in. They pick they up their 700th uh, victory, team victory in history. That tied them with T.R. Miller. Well, as the uh, wing, winningest program in state history. Wow. With this win over Curry. Good fact there, bro. Um, just useless knowledge. I, I've got <laughs> right. it all right here. More than a hat rack. Um, but uh, Curry, yeah, they're, they're struggling. Not much more you can say. Our um, corner team, 48-20 to 20 over Hayden. And this was another time uh, the Brown kid, he comes out, carries the ball, 20 times, gets 200 yards, five touchdowns in the game. Um, he was our player of the week last week. Yeah. And, I mean, just carried a corner in this game, and they, they blow out a rival in Hayden. Yeah, a couple of communities close to one another and a big victory for corner, and uh, they'll march on. Now, another one where one of our teams struggled. John Carroll beats Cordova 28 to nothing. This was a really close game last year. Yeah. I even picked Cordova to win it because yeah. they've looked good. Their defenses look good, but um, looks like John Carroll may be much improved, and they pick up that win. Cordova picks up the two wins to start the season. Now they're on a two-game skid as they hit that 5A you know, competition. And uh, once again, does it get any easier? Ramsey coming into town. I think it's a Thursday night game this week. I believe so. And uh, uh, Ramsey is one tough team. They were the second-place team. If I'm not mistaken, last year in that region, yeah, uh, just behind Pleasant Grove, yeah. and uh, you don't get much better than a Ramsey team. Two and one on the season. That game Thursday night in Cordoba. Cordoba, I think, is going to play a lot of Thursday night games this year. Yeah, uh, for some reason that region does. Uh, the uh, Birmingham City region, they right? A lot of a times lot. they share fields, mm -hmm. and yeah. then I think Coach Mothers is happy to play a Thursday game because he has a son playing for Nebraska, so it gives him a little bit of time to get to Nebraska. Hey, might as well. And plus, uh, they should probably like it for the gate because a lot of people. You're the only show on Thursday right. night. Pulls a lot of people. Yeah, in. Uh, get out and watch some high school football in Cordova. All right, another close one, but our, our local team failed. Vinemont beats Carbon Hill 30-28. to 28. That was a, a tough loss for Carbon Hill. That one seemed like it was back and forth the entire night. I kept watching the score in it and giving updates on our game of the week. Uh, Carbon Hill really misses out on a win right there. Yeah, and I thought this was one they could get at home, and I was hoping they would get at home. Clay Tittle, 13 of 24 passing, 160 yards and a couple of touchdowns. They had a big night. I mean, Blake Engel, 14 tackles on the defensive side of the ball, one tackle for loss. But, yeah, I was hoping they could get this one. They've got to go to Holly Pond now. Holly Pond's a 2-2 two and two team. Right. But uh, I was hoping the Bulldogs could pull this one off and at least get that region victory at home. Well, I feel like Holly Pond is one of the another one of those games where they can – it's a winnable yeah, game for Carbon Hill. It, it is, yeah. I just hate it's on the road, but a winnable game for Carbon Hill nonetheless. All right, now, uh, well, we want to mention Jasper was on a bye. Yeah. Uh, so they're on a bye. Our game of the week, Summit and Christian hosting Cedar Bluff. It was another one of those close games, but our local team just couldn't pull it out. They lose 21 to 14. You had a dandy of a game, that's for sure. Uh, um, uh, Two-point uh, conversion for Cannon before he uh, had a rushing touchdown. Uh, Jack Gable uh, interception return for a touchdown. But once again, just a team that just could not get over the hump there. And I was hoping that they would, would pick up that win against I was Cedar too, and I, I picked them. I thought they would. Yeah, I thought they would too. Summerton Christian's offense just could not get anything going. They only had seven possessions in the game. 
and had less than 100 yards of total offense. That's that's just a tough night. That's a tough night. But they got Woodville this week. Woodville's one and three. Uh, I think they'll get back on the winning I, side. I think they will too. And that's what um, Coach Powell said when I talked to him uh, late on Friday night. He said, you know, we're going to bounce back and we'll be ready for Woodville when they come to town. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I believe they'll bounce back. Well, Brett. Uh, you got anything else to add? Y'all got anything going on with the radio station? Anything special? No, we just, uh, another uh, Foothills is behind us. We had a great Foothills weekend. Yes, good Foothills weekend. And uh, I just, uh, we're, we're football straight ahead. We've got Jasper and uh, Gardendale coming up Friday night. Have that game on uh, Oldies 101.5. Then your game of the week will be Oakman and J.B. Pennington on Country Legends. At That's right. So I think we're going to have... Couple of good games. I hope I Jasper so. can hang in there with Gardendale, and then I think uh, Pennington and Oakman has got to be a close game. Got to be. Got to so. be. Well, all right. For Brett Elmore, I'm James Phillips. We'll see you next week for DME Prep Zone Wrap Up Show. <laughs>